Alright, Randy, you, you made a poster the other day that made me uh, decide to try this again, and I'll show you what I ended up with. Um, this is the SD RAM, and it turned out really nice. Well, pretty good, anyways. The uh, rebound job looks good on it. Residue from underfill. Two scratches right here from uh, from the tool I used to remove the SD RAM off the CPU with. But these scratches, they uh, they're just right on the surface. Um, just scratched the mask off, so I think that's okay. Um, CPU uh, rebound job turned out pretty good on it. Don't see any issues with it. A uh, little bit of mask missing, a couple of spots, but all the pads are good. So I don't see any issues on this side. This side where the SD RAM solders back down. Uh, there's still a little underfill here, and I left the underfill because the last time I tried to do one of these, there's some traces in here that once you get back up under this underfill next to this glass I see here, um, you'll mess it up. So I decided to kind of taper it off. But the, uh, the underfill I don't think will affect the SD RAM going back on. Um, pads look pretty good. Uh, right here, some of the mask came off, but all of this is ground here, all the way over to here. There's two two pads there that's not ground. A couple of pads here that's not ground, but all this right here corner is ground. Um, same thing. This whole thing here is ground plane, and right here, from here, from this pad over. This pad and that pad, all this right here is ground plane also, all the way back to here. So these pads right here didn't turn out too good, but again, it doesn't matter if those those short. This is ground plane, so this all turned out good. The only problem I've got with it, maybe somebody have an idea how to fix it, is warpage. Um, it really didn't warp too bad whenever you measure across. I don't think. I think uh, all the balls will still make contact. There's a little bit, a little bit of warpage there. Um, same thing if you measure side to side. It's not too, too bad at all. It's kind of hard for me to hold that. But anyway, I've looked at it. Side to side is not too bad. Whenever you go corner to corner, if you can see that gap there, that's that's not going to work. And I guess it's because this glass I see um, took the uh, fiberglass board, started bowing in faster than the, fiber, the, the glass I see. So I've got a little bit of cupping in it, right in the center of it. Um, so that will prevent those balls from touching. I'm not sure if I can fix that or not. Other than that, I think the uh, the CPU will work. I think the SD RAM will work. Um, and you can see I'm not putting any pressure on it. Looks like the, uh, the SD RAM will work perfect on the CPU, but I'm not sure how to solve that cupping problem. So if anybody has any ideas how I can take the uh, CPU and kind of get some of that cupping out of it, that would be awesome, guys. So what do you think?